And there's Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, today's wine, Nietlingshof 2012 Pinotage, uh, wine of origin Stellenbosch, founded in 1692, which I think was also the year that Taylor's Port was founded, I don't know. But uh, anyway, a medium bodied, velvety dry red wine, blah, blah, blah. Let's chuck it in the glass and see where we get to. It's got those classic berries, ripe, fleshy, touch of banana in there, a bit of spice and uh, some chocolatey character. It's not one of those that's gone over the top into that um, roasted coffee and dark chocolate, uh, but it's got, it feels like it's going to have weight, flesh and touch of that, uh, what I call iron rich tomato. Does that make sense? Just to me, but if it doesn't to you, um, uh, throw eggs at the screen now. Yeah, warm, hearty, rustic. Um, there's a, it's strange, there's, when I say rustic, there's like a smooth, velvety character, uh, but it's, uh, it's like a peasant wearing velvet. There's, um, there are rough edges under, under, the, under the velvet, um, so there's a little bit of um, volatility. There's that slight, ever so slight vinegary note, but not so much that it uh, detracts away from the enjoyment of the wine. One of those wines that some people will, will love that broad, um, brawny, when I say broad and brawny, it's not too beefy, but it has got generous, rich, voluptuous fruit. And um, uh, there's an earthy honesty about it. It makes you, it makes you, it's one of those wines that makes you sort of go, ah, not, I have to say, not a style I, I, I drink heaps of, but um, I think they've done it quite nicely. And they've not tried to either make it um, too modern and try to make a Shiraz from it, and they've not tried to uh, be too tricksy and make something that is uh, uh, like Pinot Noir. They've made it as an honest, ripe, juicy, friendly Pinotage and um, can't fault them for that. I'll, uh, I might even have a glass of it later. See you soon.